is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to do a video that was inspired by Shinuki um, over at Shinuki's um, Art. And she did mass making. This was part of the journal tips and tricks collaboration organised by Rachel and Bella Crofts. She did a mass make of some index cards. Now I couldn't find my index cards. I have got some but yep I couldn't find them. So I've come along with these glossy um, photo cards and I'm going to use the reverse because I know that when I I kind of did these before lots of you suggested that I actually used the reverse of these so I'm just going to take five now I'm sure five is probably way 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 too ambitious I won't probably get anywhere near five done um, but let's let's give it a go and see so what she did she started by kind of inking her cards and getting a big sploshy kind of um, you know color scheme going on them now I'm going to be a little bit more um, disciplined today and I'm going to Oh, I was going to say wear my gloves, but actually I probably won't put my gloves on just yet. So I'll put my gloves on a little, in a little while. So I've got various ink pads here because she used ink pads. Now she did hers in quite browns and things. I'm going to do mine in greens and um, yeah, colours like that. Just so that we've got a bit of a different sort of look going on. So I'm just going to put lots of ink down here. And then now, do I want to go in? Yeah, let's do some salvage patina. So I'm going to do, hopefully, a few different kind of looks here. So I've got my water. I'm just going to wet that and then just splosh my card in. Now, she really wasn't kind of too, you know, particular about how she was splashing her card in. Now, oh, I thought perhaps this was going to be a problem. It doesn't seem to be wanting to pick up brilliantly on the reverse of this um, photo card. So yeah, whether or not that's going to dry nicely, I'm not too sure. Um, but hey, let's plow on. Let's just, yep, go on it anyway. Go on regardless. So yeah, let's kind of do that. Now let's put some other, other colour down. So I'm just going to put some of this uh, seedless preserves. I mean, how gorgeous is that colour? Love that colour. And then a bit more of this salvaged patina, which again, absolutely love that colour. Again, just a bit more water. Okay, and then just again, smooching them in like that. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Perhaps I didn't put enough water on the other one. Yeah, perhaps that's where I where I went wrong so yeah that's kind of got a better coverage anyway I'm not saying it looks better but yeah definitely got a better better coverage going on so yep and then let's go in with some worn lipstick now so just you know so that I've got lots of different sort of colors going on really and then I'm just going to put some dusty concord down as well so yeah let's put that in and a bit more water. I'm going to try and be a bit more generous with the water this time because I think that may be the first time I didn't have enough water actually on the desk, you know, to pick up a good, decent covering. So that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay, so we've got lots of different colours going on so far. So I'm going to go in with a bit more of the um, greens, I think, for the final two. So, yeah, let's put some more green down. Okay. And some bit, bit more of that salvage patina. I love this colour so much. It's such a gorgeous colour. Okay. And then, yep, a bit more water. Oops, okay. Oh, I think she might have gone in with coffee first, actually, now I'm wondering. Do you know, I honestly can't remember whether she did or not. And I only watched the video this morning. Honestly, it's so hard to remember, isn't it? You watch these videos and then, you know, I don't know about you guys, but because I don't come straight to do it, you know, I normally watch my videos while I'm doing my workout in the morning. So then it's, you know, a few hours before I actually get to do a video. And then, of course, I can't remember what it was I saw, exactly what it was I saw, you know. Yeah, you would have thought my memory would be slightly better, wouldn't you, in the space of just a couple of hours to have forgotten completely, but no, it doesn't appear to be. 
So I'll just put some more of that Dusty Concord down. I love these colours, they're just so pretty. Um, let's have a bit more of this, I think. So, right, and again, just oops, spray down a bit more water. And I have got some coffee actually, so I can't remember if I'm truthful whether she did use coffee or didn't use coffee. Hers were quite brownie in tones anyway, so she might not have used coffee, but she probably didn't need to because she was using predominantly quite brown colours. But I might go in now with a with a bit of a coffee spray, I think, just to yeah, make them look a bit more vintage. So yeah. I mean, these obviously look terrible at the moment, but I mean, I'm hoping that they're going to look good once I come to use them. I'm just going to mop up what's left on the desk rather than waste it. So it's just, and actually I'm thinking I could actually, instead of spray it with water next time, I could just spray it with the coffee. Might be a good idea. So, all right, I mean, this looks terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm wondering how I'm going to actually come back from this, to be honest looking pretty diabolical so far so let's go in with a bit of coffee okay well the coffee definitely definitely gives it a much more aged feel so yeah definitely like the addition of the coffee okay Oops. definitely got a bit of a smudgy smudgy vibe going on with this one but never mind because we're going to gesso over these a bit anyway so you know I'm not too worried that it's looking you know a bit of a mess at the moment well it might continue to look a bit of a mess but I'm not too too worried because hopefully it's uh, all going to come together at the end so yeah let's just wipe that up now if I go back in through the ones that we've done in order of how we've done them so hopefully Oops. Oh, now my, now my spray's now clogged. Oh, right. Let's see whether it's going to work or not. Come on. It was all working fine. Now I've come on to do the video. It's, of course, now not wanting to work at all. Come on. No. Right. So I'm just going to just do some splashes. Or perhaps I'll just put some onto the desk. Okay, well... Okay. So, I mean, obviously I'm really saturating it with the coffee now, but never mind. You know, hopefully it's it's all good. Right. So because I've got that, what I'm going to do, I think, is just press this onto another one. I mean, talk about, you know, bodgy, bodgy techniques here, but, you know, because my spray wasn't really working, I'm just, just having to adapt and, um, yeah, kind of like go on the fly a little bit. Okay, so I mean that's not too bad is it? I mean I have to say hers looked a lot darker than mine so I'm wondering really you know where I've gone wrong but it might just be the colours that she was using as opposed to my colours, I don't know. Might be because she was using the index cards and I'm of course using these photo, you know glossy photo cards. I guess all of that type of thing makes a difference doesn't it? So but, you know, I mean, they're still nice, aren't they? I'm still, you know, still not minding them. So, yeah, let's kind of do the rest quickly. Dipping in like that. Okay, right. So, again, not quite how I'd obviously expected them to go. But, you know, let's not worry about it. Let's kind of just, <laughs> just go on and um, pretend that they're looking exactly how I planned it. So, I'll just mop this up. Now, I'm just going to quickly dry them off with my heat gun or my heat, heat tool, which will hopefully, you know, yeah, make them at least usable, which obviously at the moment they're not because they're just soaking wet, so, okay, so, I mean, that, you know, like I say, I'm really not going to get myself too panicked, this one's even dripping onto the other cards, but, I mean, hopefully it's all going to add character to the finished card. So, yeah. Let's not panic. 
Let's not panic at all about how they're looking. This one, again, just kind of like dry this off. I mean, obviously the coffee is pretty wet, you know, so um, yeah, just, just need to be a bit mindful of that. Okay, well I'm not too too worried, so I'm going to pull in while I'm just drying this off. I'm just pulling in some book page because she added book page to hers and we're going to obviously do that. So I'm just going to tidy these up and put them away so that we've got less things on the desk, cluttering it all up. Okie dokie. I'm so sorry about the length of time this is taking to dry. Like I say, I mean obviously they're a little bit saturated, so there's no point going in too soon, you know, when they're not actually dry because of course it's not going to work. So, right, okay. And then last one is this one. Right, right. I mean, I have to say, I love how this one looks. I mean, it might not have gone quite as planned, but it looks very pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, really, really like that. Now my next improvisation I have to say is because I couldn't then find my gesso. So yeah, this video is going to be one bodgy improvisation after another I fear. So um, yeah, okay. Okay, it's not quite dry still, but let's just go for it anyway. So, because uh, otherwise I'm just going to be here like all day, just waiting for it to dry. Right, okay, so I've got my book page. Now she just tore down very small pieces of book. I'm so sorry for moving the um, table slightly. Um, now she just used very small pieces of book page. So I'm going to try and, you know, emulate what she did. Just using, again, small pieces. So... Like that. And she just kind of like dotted them around, you know, onto the the pieces. So yeah, just tap on there, and one that's down there, that's up there. Okay, and then I will glue these on in a moment. So I'm just placing them where I want them to be. Whoops, where I want them to be. And then I'll glue them down afterwards. So, okay, okay. Well, it's quite a good way to use up some book page, if nothing else. So, um, yeah, they might not have gone quite planned, but I'm using up a little bit of book page. So, it's all good. It's all good <laughs> in the end. Right. So, yeah, let's just do a little bit here. And then... Okay. Yep. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to glue those bits of book page on. So I just unclog my glue before that's then not working. That'll be the next disaster. Now, what I'm going to have to do is, like I say, she used gesso. I couldn't locate my gesso anywhere. I have no idea where that's disappeared to. Um, so what I'm going to do is just improvise by using white paint. So first of all, just going to glue my book page down. You know, like I say, I'm completely not paying any attention to where I'm gluing this. I'm just kind of getting it stuck on just anywhere, anywhere at all. Okay, like that. Because we're going to gesso over this anyway, so, you know, it's, hopefully going to kind of blend a little bit more into the background because at the moment obviously it's um you know a little bit kind of like obvious where I've put it I mean obviously it's going to still be obvious but you know what I mean so as we have it a bit more seamless in the background we're going to 
put the white over it. Now, as I say, I can't find my gesso, so I'm going to use the white paint. So let's just put this down here. I mean, hers just turned out so pretty, I have to say. So um, yeah, I hope, hope that I can carry it off in some way, shape or form. Okay, like that. And this one. Oh, I wanted that, I think, down there. Oh, well, never mind. I have to just go with it here now because it's too late. So, um, yeah, I've already stuck it on there. I mean, I could have moved it, but obviously then we'd have a big, big gluey mess. So, yeah, I decided to just leave it where it, where it fell. Okay. I mean, I'm hoping these are going to be just very forgiving. <laughs> it's just going to look nice anyway. Oh, I mean, just how forgiving can they possibly be? That's what we ask. How forgiving can they get? Okay. Like that. And then here. I have to say, as I'm putting this down, I've noticed it was a Reader's Digest um, book. And yeah, I mean, I've spotted a few words. They're not swear words or anything like that, but they're just not nice words, um, which again in hindsight obviously I wouldn't have perhaps used this book so yeah I just need to be mindful of that and um you know I mean hopefully the white paint is going to kind of cover that up anyway um but yeah just you know I wouldn't want to have used this book for sort of like a book page pocket or something where it wasn't going to be covered at all so again just rounding my corners now I have to say, I can't remember whether she did that either. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> I mean, you wonder really what what goes on in my mind. Do I retain anything whatsoever? It would appear not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Um, yeah. Honestly, I mean, why I can't retain anything is just beyond me, but... Okay. So... So we've rounded the corners. Now, I'm going to put my white paint now down. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to water this down quite a bit because um, I don't want it to, you know, be like really strong, really strong white. Oh, my goodness. I mean, hello. Look at how thick that's come out. So, yeah, let's spray a lot of water onto there. A lot. I don't know how this is going to pan out at all. Now, I was going to apply it with a brush. Um, oh, do you know, I'm thinking I should do like a little bit of a test patch. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. So if I smoosh it a bit more in the water, so it's a bit more of a wash rather than, you know, a solidy paint. So put some more water on. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, okay, so let's just go for that, shall we? Let's just try it on this one first of all. Oh gosh, now it's not showing up at all. Gone from one extreme to the other. So yeah, I was like worried it was going to be, um, you know, really thick white. And then I put it on and it was just in fact not white at all. You know, not doing anything. It was just like painting it over with some water. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's like that. So let's just do that on all of them. Oh, this was the bit that I was going to put my gloves on for. And again, just totally then forgot to put my gloves on. So, waste of time bringing the gloves along. Okay. And this one. Last one, this one. Oh, that didn't take long, did it, to um, cover those up? I mean, I have to say, this looks like an absolute eyesore, this one. 
don't know what went on with this one, but yeah, it's not looking too good. Right, okay. So I'm just going to clean the desk off. Clean my fingers off where I didn't end up wearing the gloves. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Right, okay. So wipe the brush off. Let's wipe the desk up. Okay, now, I think she did a little bit of script stamp, but now I'm thinking, or oh, did she? Again, it, <laughs> I can't swear to what she actually did. Um, yeah, obviously what happens is I watch several videos and, you know, I kind of think, oh, I, I love that idea. You know, I can't wait to try that. And, um, you know, then I watch, obviously, other videos just while I'm still doing my workout. And then I should really re-watch the one that I think, oh, I'm, I might do that. And uh, perhaps then I would have a bit more of a chance of remembering what it was I actually watched. But, yeah, I didn't do that. So now, obviously, I can't really remember. Oh, well. We're not trying to actually kind of mimic what she was doing. We're just using her um, video as inspiration. So, love how these look, I have to say. I mean, although they're... You know, they're very different how they started. I think they look very pretty. So again, I'm just drying them off now. With the heat tool. Okay. Like that. And this one. I have to say also I'm thinking these are quite big compared to hers because she used the index cards they were presumably a lot smaller than these or you know a bit smaller anyway um these look quite big but that's because they're the you know six by four photo paper so yeah okay Right, okay, so I'm really loving how they look actually. I think they look really, really nice now. The only thing is my backs are very, very messy. Um, but again, you know, I'm not too worried about that because I can always kind of gesso or paint or something like that over the back. Um, you know, if I can find my gesso by that point, who knows? I still not be able to find it, in which case I'll be, you know, becoming really unstuck then. So um, yeah, right, now I'm just leaning down to get my ink. So excuse me a moment. I'll just reach in and get that and my scissors. So hold on. Okay, right. Oops, oh, it's right, okay. So yeah, I have bought along these to use as my focal points. I can't remember. Again, I can't remember what she used for her. Okay. I'm just going to cut out a couple of the ladies as well. So we've got a mixture of like the um, florals and the ladies. So let's just cut these down. Again, I probably should put my glasses on for this. It would be much easier to see what I was doing. Okay. okay right so there is one of the ladies now these are from my victorian springtime i think or it could be victorian gallery i'm pretty sure it's the victorian springtime um ephemera part of the kit so if you wanted to check these out at all that is the kit that they're in um the digital in my my etsy shop so um yeah do feel free to go over and have a look okay they're a really really useful topper you know piece to have as, as a topper so um yeah you know i think they go on such a whole bunch of different things they're just one of those really useful things to have and they're quite nice because they're quite well they're not big but you know they're bigger um, than really tiny little pieces. So, I mean, they make a big impact. You know, for instance, on this journal card, 
you know, they look really good because they're a nice big sort of good size piece, aren't they? Oh, I love that on there. I was thinking of having the lady on those kind of bluey green ones, but now that that one just dropped onto there, I'm kind of now backtracking and thinking, oh, I might have to have the flowers on there, you know, because they look actually really gorgeous, don't they, on there? Oh gosh, I've made a horrible job of cutting. I kind of was glancing down at what that looked like, where it had dropped. Took my eye off of the um, <laughs> what I was cutting round. And yeah, now I made a horrible job of cutting that. I'll just cut the final one down. So they're all slightly different, um, you know, these flowers. But I don't know whether obviously the camera's really picking that up because some of them are very similar. Um, but yeah, these that I've cut, they are all actually different, but yeah, I mean like those two, they look very similar, don't they? But yeah, they are actually different. Okay, right. So let's have a look and see. I mean, I do love her on there, I have to say, um, but I do, I do love these flowers on that one, I think. So yeah, let's just see. And then we've got the pinky ones, which of course, you know, they lend themselves really nice to the pink the pink flowers, don't they? Just going to double check that I wouldn't prefer them that way round. Mm. Mm. I don't know now. Just trying to look through the camera and see whether, you know, because sometimes it looks different when you look through the, the lens to when you're looking, you know, face to face. Um, you know, it can sometimes look a bit different. So, right, I'm just going to see if I've got any labels or anything that I could use on these as well. So I've got some of my labels here. Okay. Got these ones. So I might take some of these. They're probably a little bit big actually. Hopefully could do with the smaller ones. Let's just take those few there. And then we've got a blue one. blue one and we've got a green one okay right okay so we've got quite a good selection there of different label and you know labels and things and then what else she did which I really loved and I hadn't really seen someone do before she just took some tracing paper or it could have been vellum um, and she made little tabs and just stapled them on. So I've printed this. This is from my Pink Ladies kit. And um, I'm just going to endeavour to do exactly as she did. So she just literally cut it down. I don't think she even rounded the corners. She just literally kind of went like this. And then stapled this like a tab. Which I thought looked amazing. So yeah. Let's kind of see how this is going to look. So... Shall we take this floral one, for instance? Oh, I might have to have it that way round. Um, now, which colour label shall we have? Shall we have this one here? I mean, like I say, I actually probably should use some of the smaller labels, but these are the ones that I have to hand, so... I don't want to kind of like bore everyone to tears while I'm looking around for the smaller ones. So let's just use this one. Okay, right. Now I'm just going to ink this slightly. Disguise any shoddy cutting that went on with that. And then I'm just going to ink around here as well. And then what else she did was she used some embroidery thread. Uh, I think it was embroidery thread. It was thread of some sort, but she used that behind whatever it was that she put over here. So I'm going to take my stapler and staple this on. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. I think she did use two staples, but I can swear by it. But... Yep, I'm going to use two. 
What an awesome tab. I love that idea. That's so cool. Oops, I nearly nearly stuck my um, flowers on upside down. And then I've got this embroidery thread. Now, I've got this bright pink. Oh, I don't think mine's going to look quite as good as hers did. Hers looks so cool. And yeah, mine just now looks rubbish. <laughs> hers looked a little bit like free motion stitching. Um, yeah, she'd kind of done this really clever thing and it oh gosh I mean look at that rubbish rubbish and it just looked really cool mine just looks exactly like what it is you know a bunch of kind of embroidery threads that I've just bunched up and stuck on the page oh my goodness how rubbish does that look <laughs> I loved the look of hers so much and I thought oh I'm gonna do that wow wish I hadn't have tried now because it looks rubbish Maybe mine is too thick because maybe she used thinner thread. So, you know, like embroidery thread is, you know, twisted. I'm just going to try and kind of like split it a little bit. And see whether that does anything to improve the appearance. Who knows? It might not, to be honest. Right, let's try again. And try and wrap it like maybe bigger. I don't know. I don't know whether this is going to make any difference, but yeah, let's pop that down there. Oh, it looks perhaps a little bit better. So, right, let's just cut that. So I'm just going to unravel this a little bit at this end as well. I'll probably have to then wind it round again. Okay. Oh my goodness. What rubbish job I'm making. Okay, right. So I'll hold that there like that and like that okay so yeah I think you can put that sort of down on there like that yeah something like that I mean it's still not looking as good as hers I have to say her embroidery thread or thread thread looked much much better than mine it's, yeah, I'm back to that kind of eyelash trim effect, you know, where I just can't really seem to carry it off if I'm truthful. But at least I'm, at least I'm giving it a try. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Pretty rubbish, but it's, it's okay. So, yeah, now I'm thinking, oh, perhaps I need to add a bit of lace. Because perhaps it just looks so rubbish, I perhaps need a bit of lace on there to, um improve the appearance so I'm just going to ink around the edge of my card slightly again I mean I don't even know as it really needs that but yeah let's just kind of ink around there a bit okay and then this lace was just laying around on the desk because so I'm just going to do that and to me that just I don't know it just looks a bit better because I just wasn't really very happy with how that was looking like that okay I wish I could remember whether she had script stamped in the background because I feel like oh do they look a little bit on the plain side I feel like they do um but yeah I can't actually remember whether she did script stamp or not so I might just have to because um <laughs> I just don't like that sort of really plain type appearance that it's got now so right let me get my script stamp Oops. well if I can find it anyway well I can't really find it but I've got this one which is similar um thinking I might do my script stamp in brown rather than black here so yeah okay so just a little bit on there oh gosh you can barely see that at all to be honest but anyway, okay. Well, I don't mind it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure that that brown was a very good choice, but it's okay. So let's do another one. Oh, you'll be pleased to know we're doing another one. Or perhaps you won't be pleased to know. Perhaps you'll think, oh, goodness, give it up, give it up. Right, let's just again ink around here. Okay. 
Right, I've got this pink, which of course I don't want pink really showing because, yeah, I don't want to kind of now go for a pink theme. So again, just inking around the edge and hopefully covering up that, that pink quite a bit. Okay, just going like that to get rid of that pink. Um, right, so we've got this and yeah, let's have a blue label, shall we? Which will obviously tie the blue in a bit more so yeah let's take this label here okay so these are from my new label sets um which went in the shop the same time as this um victorian springtime kit so yeah they're also in my shop so i've got my original label sets and now these ones as well you know, if you were wondering what they were. Now, wondering whether I need a green as well, just because, yeah, I wondered whether it needed a bit more of something. Again, just cut that down. Okay. Again, just ink that up. Oh, I quite like that with the, yeah, with the two labels, I think. So I'm just going to put that down there in the corner. And then obviously my other piece is going to be glued over there. So like that. Like that. Now, again, for my um, tracing paper, you know, tab. So I've got a few different things printed on the tracing paper. So for this one, I might use some of this. So this again from the Victorian spring time kit, but it's um, obviously been printed on the tracing paper. So it's quite thick tracing paper. Um, yeah, much more vellum like in the texture. So yeah, just cut that down slightly there. Just going to staple that on over there. So again, just stapling that to the corner. Yeah, I love these as tabs. What a clever idea. Absolutely brilliant. I just hadn't really seen someone just do that before. And it's, you know, such a simple, really effective looking tab. So, yeah, brilliant, brilliant idea. Right, now, again, just wondering whether I need some lace, just because, you know, I do just love the lace. And, um, yeah, for me, I kind of put things down without it and then think, mm, it looks a bit boring. You know, and the lace just seems to just, yeah. For me, it just kind of um, finishes it off really nicely. I mean, I loved um, Shanuki's as well. And, you know, she, I don't think, had lace on hers. Um, but weirdly, they didn't need lace. Whereas mine, I feel like they do need lace. So, yeah. Again, just kind of like spreading my embroidery thread on the, on the end. So hopefully it's got a much more tatty you know, raggedy, thready type look. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks raggedy now. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but, but hey, let's pop that down like that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just glue this one down. Okay. Like that. Oops. need another glue stick now and obviously when I'm gluing these on um, I'm gluing them directly with the glue stick over that embroidery thread and that all just holds the oops holds the thread in place so like that okay 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 yeah that looks pretty doesn't it now again i'm thinking do we need some scripty stamp in which case should we have that in blue so yeah i'm going to use a little bit of this blueprint sketch um i don't really like stamping with the distress ink if i'm truthful 
um but yeah i'm going to just use that because obviously it's just there so yeah let's just just go in with some of that oh gosh now my script stamp i think it's upside down oh well it looks okay yay right okay next one so let's do one with the lady because we haven't done one with the lady have we yet so yeah let's let's do one with her and she's got that little kind of um lockety type piece at the top as well which is kind of nice isn't it so what color label should we have on her we have this pink or this one let's try this one first Okay. Okay, okay, and just quickly ink up around there. Now for this, I actually brought along this colour. I don't know whether this is just like a, you know, shocking, shocking colour to use on here. Um, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm now wondering whether I was a little bit ambitious with my with my choice because it feels like oh that's really bright but let's just see so I'm just going to cut down this label as well and just see whether but it might be that this actually is kind of clashing with the other one so yeah let's just have a look okay. oh no I think it looks okay actually I'll just check which way round I prefer these. Maybe like that. Okay, right. So just... Oh, this is upside down. Oh, no. <laughs> I only just noticed that in time, honestly. It was nearly too late. It was nearly all glued, just glued down there. So, yeah, I only just spotted it in time. Okay. It could have been a disaster, couldn't it? Right. Let's just go for this. And like I always say, I mean, I'm just using hot glue for these. Just, you know, I love hot glue myself anyway. Um, and it just is quick and easy. I know it's glued down. I don't have to worry about it or anything. It's, you know, it's definitely attached, which, you know, I just love that. Right. So I'm going to take some of this. Wow, this is a strong colour, isn't it? Oh, this just is mucking about like with the eyelash trim, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, not really a good thing for me. Right, let's just separate this one out as well. And then get some kind of like threads going on. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got a bit of a strange look, to be honest. I haven't done that too brilliantly, but it's okay. Um, and then, again, for the tracing paper, what did I do with that other tracing paper? Oh, it's down here to the side of me again. Um, yeah, I think I have to go to this now. I'm going to just cut like a portion out from there. Okay, and just fold this one over. how that tracing paper looks honestly i really 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 love those as tabs they're just like gorgeous aren't they absolutely gorgeous so yeah i'm definitely going to be using them you know more often so again just staple that into place okay and then this one Obviously, because that tab I made a little bit on the big side. So, yeah, this has to be kind of moved down a bit. So we'll have it more more there, which is a bit weird, but it's okay. It works okay. So, yeah. Okie doke. And just press that one down. Like that. Okay, right. And then we'll just, again, ink up around the edge of that. Okay. Like that. 
Now, do we want some script stamp in? I mean, we've done it on all the others, so we might as well, mightn't we? So, should we just do some black? We could use that brown. Did I use the brown on the other one? I did, and I thought it didn't look great, to be honest. So, yeah, perhaps I'm going to put this back, actually, and I'm just trying to get my uh, timber brown instead. Yeah, that's my saddle brown. Let's use the timber brown instead, which might just look a little bit better. That timber brown actually just looked very, um, what's the word? you know, sort of yellowy looking. So I wasn't quite so keen on it, but yeah, hopefully this looks a bit better. Yeah, okay. So that's that one. Love it, love it, love it. Right, okay. Right, you'll be pleased to know that we are nearly at the end now for these. So yeah, I've really loved making them, I have to say. So brilliant idea. Shaniki, if you happen to, um, you know, stumble across my video, loved your pretty cards. They were so lovely. And yeah, I felt hugely inspired when watching them. So thank you so much for the brilliant idea. Okay, this one, I might not even ink that, you know, because I think it actually looks quite pretty like that. Um, do I want to have a, a red label down the bottom for a bit of contrast? Let's try that and see. Just see how that looks. Do we want to have that one down there? Yeah, I think that does look quite nice actually, doesn't it? You know, I wasn't sure whether it would, but yeah, I think it does look quite nice. So just pop that one down there. And let's have this on here. So again, just, just pop this one down. Oh, you know what? I haven't added any lace on these last couple, have I? Totally forgot to even add the lace. What was going on? Right, okay, a lot of pink on there, really. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use maybe this section here. So, yeah, let's just put that down. Like that. back in just making this slightly smaller because it was a little bit on the big side so yeah put that down there oh dear again just staple that now like that okay and then this one again just going to use some of this pink embroidery thread so I've got that little sort of bit there but yeah let's try this so again, just going to do that sort of, you know, just messing this up. I mean, I guess I could use eyelash trim actually, but yeah, she had used the thread and I thought, oh, that looks really great. Like I say, I'm not quite so sure that it looks so good on mine. <laughs> not sure I've quite got the technique that she had, but um, you know, it looks okay. It looks okay. And it's all just a different technique, isn't it? You know, just putting in some different techniques and um, things things to do so yeah it's all good it's all good in the end okay oh my goodness me couldn't really be making more of a hash of this if I tried could I no nope. oh my goodness right oh come on okay right let's pop that down there Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that looks awful. Thought I'd improved a little bit, but actually I seem to have got worse. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look quite so bad, but it doesn't look brilliant, but yeah, maybe not quite as bad as it was looking. So I wonder if I could have that kind of like, oh, Lord only knows. Maybe we'll try it like that. Okay, right, let's go for that. I 
And again, I'm thinking maybe the Timber Brown for the um, stamping, or we could use some black. I mean, weirdly, actually, I don't mind this one without stamping. I think it actually looks quite nice even without the stamping. So I might just ink around the edges of this one. Um, I know we didn't ink anything else on this. But yeah, I think maybe just ink around the actual edges. What have I done with my blendy tool? Or perhaps it's rolled off onto the floor. I didn't notice it roll off onto the floor, but it doesn't appear to be on the desk. So perhaps it did. No, I can't see it there either. Oh, gosh. No idea where my blendy tool has gone. No. Honestly, I mean, probably, yeah, you can probably see it. And it's probably in full view of everybody. And I'm just totally, totally missing it. But who knows? Yeah, can't see it anywhere. So, well, we won't, we won't be inking this one. Not through choice, but just because I can't. Okay, last one. Right, you'll be pleased to know last one. Okay. So I've got these couple of bits here. Um, right, definitely got a blue label here. The annoying thing is, really could do with this being inked up must be in my drawer the blendy tool must have dropped into the drawer so I'll have a look in a second okay yeah it was it was Yay. right so just ink that like that oh how gorgeous does that look again just ink around here This one, I think maybe a bit of lace is required. Oh, I have got just a little strip of black lace. I know it's weird because obviously I haven't really got anything else black on here, but I do always love a bit of black, as you know, like on the, um, you know, in terms of the lace. So yeah, maybe have to just incorporate a bit of that. So let's just try this. Down there, okay. Right, let's just take that like that. Okay. Yeah, quite like that. And then I have also got my little bit plates, and I'm wondering whether I've got any because I know that I have got some in a sort of duck eggy, you know, very pale duck egg type colour. Whether I've got them here is another thing altogether. Aha, uh -huh. right, here we go. They're probably not quite right, actually. But let's try them. Oh, I'm not sure now. I feel like we've got a lot of colours going on on here. So let's just quickly staple this on yeah I might have to go with the ivory lace after all perhaps I shouldn't be trying to be adventurous using the um, you know thingamajiggly black because maybe that's kind of a step too far perhaps yeah right let's have a look let me just try a little bit down here so if we had a little bit like going off here on the edge and maybe a little bit over there. And then let's just ink this up. I mean, in all honesty, I don't think that label is quite right. Um, you know, I actually think perhaps this is better than the, the label, if you see what I mean. So it might be I have to pull out a different label. Let's glue this down like that okay right let me just see oops i've got a label here that might be a good color okay i mean actually that watson one that would actually be quite good but it is massive again why have i not printed any smaller ones of these because that would have been very helpful 
Mm, that's too big. Too big. All right, let's just take this one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just caught sight of the um, time in the camera, you know, in the phone. And it said 53 minutes. I do apologise. It was supposed to be, you know, a shortish video. But, yeah, just time ran away with me again. Just had such a nice time creating these. And, yeah, before I knew it, time had obviously run away with me. So, yeah, so sorry. But it's just gotten away from me like that. But... I hope that you're feeling inspired anyway, even if um, it's ended up a really long video, you know, hopefully you're feeling inspired a little bit and not just really bored. <laughs> so, yeah, because that wouldn't be very good. Now, I had bought this blue along to put, obviously, as the embroidery thread, like coming out from that label. I'm not so sure that I want to do that now because this is much more taken on like a sort of more delicate duck eggy and brown look. I'm not sure whether it can really now take that blue. Um, you know, I think that's probably a bit too strong for it. So I don't think I'm going to put that down. So I might just have just the, um, oh gosh, I keep dipping that into the stays on. Yeah, I'll, I might just have the black lace instead. Like that. So yeah, perhaps I'll have it, perhaps I'll have it there. So it's going to go hopefully half over the, um, tab a little bit as well so like that okay that looks good doesn't it and then I'm just going to do a bit of script stamp and obviously for this one I can definitely do black because we've obviously actually got the black lace on there so we know that the black is you know it's already making an appearance on here isn't it so yeah let's just go around in one or two places with the black Yay, there we go. So that is my, oh, I didn't go with the black. I went with the brown anyway. Um, yeah, I forgot that that was brown. I thought it was black. Anyway, those are my little index cards. They weren't index cards, but, you know, inspired by Shinuki um, over at Shinuki's Art. And I will try and remember to link her original video, which was absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that you like them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope that you feel inspired. And yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.